everyone. Welcome back to Encounter Encouragement. Tonight's video is called A Zest for Life, a tribute to my dad for Father's Day, sponsored by the letter Z. Imagine that. So I wanted you to know that all fathers are important and they are all very, very much appreciated, needed, and loved, whether we always show it or not. That might be another story. But in this case, um, my dad was an old French Canadian farmer and his dad and mom moved from Canada, became US citizens. Um, well, at least his mom did, I know that for sure because I've seen the naturalization papers. I've never seen them from my grandpa, but I assume he was. Uh, they spoke French in the house, and when my dad went to school as a young kid, um, he had a hard time understanding the English because at home they spoke French. So, kind of an interesting little situation there for him. But Grandma and Grandpa bought the farm in 1906, and my dad was born in 1923. He was number four of four children. His oldest brother was 14 years older, and then he had two sisters in between. And growing up, we lived less than two miles from his brother. Now, his brother had 11 children, and his older sister didn't have any. She never married, and the younger sister had two. Uh, and we were very close with them as well. We had 10 kids in the family, five boys, five girls, and two parents. And so back when I graduated college in a lot of years ago, um, we had a family friend who was there. In fact, Don Money Mom's mom, mom and dad were there, and they took this picture of my dad and my mom and me. And it's truly the only picture I have of just the three of us. And so scratched up as it is, this is mom and dad and me. And I am so, so grateful to have this picture. So this was about three and a half years before my dad died of cancer. And it was about six months before he was, six to eight months before he was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, Dad loved the farm. That's all he knew. He grew up there. He lived there. He literally died there. And it's the only thing he, he knew in his whole life. He very, very rarely traveled. I think maybe twice that I'm aware of that he traveled away from home to spend a night somewhere else that during my lifetime at least. And his joy was to get out in the morning in the summer and go and walk the fields early in the morning, hear all the animals from the other farms, you know, making their noise and cows mooing or whatever, and just walk the fields and listen and enjoy the birds and the animals. And it just was so peaceful to him. And I think I get some of that from him. Now, it's not always the easiest to see, but this is the farm that I grew up on. Um, the house right here, it was added on to a few times. Um, well, just once during my lifetime anyway. Um, but that housed the 10 kids, two parents, and one hired man when I was very young. This here, let's see right here, is the barn. This was a hay shed here. Um, this shed was built when, probably in the middle mid 70s when I was in elementary school and I remember that's the new shed it was so big and so exciting to have a big shed like that but it disappeared a couple years ago when the roof collapsed in a snowstorm but you can see some of the fields that dad loved to walk and um, our land was about a quarter mile or half a mile let's see half a quarter mile wide and half and a mile long so he loved to get out there and, you know, 
deal with the animals, uh, and then he loved to go and walk the fields in the morning. And he was, based on what everybody says, and what he said too, uh, he was probably one of the best farmers in the area. He knew that soil, he knew it inside and out, um, under his fingers, in his feet, in his shoes, in his clothes, in his hair, covering his body. He knew that soil inside and out, and that's what he lived and breathed for. And so he took pride in his work as a farmer, and he did the best that he could. He had such a zest for life on that farm that his zeal was just unparalleled. You know, people in the community would come to him for, for all kinds of farming questions, and you know he would learn from other people as well. But he certainly loved to, you know, help others and learn to um, grow their farm better. And so he had a huge, huge zest for life related to that farm. And the farm has now been in the family for. I think it was October, it would be this year, 114 years. So, you know, that three generations, my brother has it now, but three generations of fathers have been on that farm and have taken care of it and have loved it some more than others, but my dad lived and breathed for it. And I know that as a father, it showed that that was, you know, something that he wanted to pass down. And now my brother has it. And so um, the zeal for the farm life is something that not everybody has, but my dad certainly did. And so I want to thank him for that and for the work ethic that he gave and just for the fun times that we had. It wasn't always great but we did have a lot of fun times on that farm and I will be forever grateful to have grown up on that farm. And to all you fathers out there, I pray that you show a zest for life in an area of your life that you can pass on to your children. And I pray that you be a blessing to them like my dad was to me. So dad, Happy Father's Day. Until we see each other again on the next video, be blessed, everyone. Thanks, y'all.